So I'd like to invite you to imagine that right now is the time of your death. But rather than experiencing any fear, be very relaxed, comfortable. And imagine a mind that is relatively confident. Calm, peaceful, accepting. Imagine that all the business you needed to take care of is taken care of. And you recognize this body is, it's time to leave it behind. It's no longer useful. The energy in your body is getting weaker and weaker. Your sight becomes unclear. And finally, you can't see any more through your eyes. All your limbs become powerless, weak. And this is because the earth element is losing its power. We say dissolving, but it doesn't mean it's disappearing. It's just losing its energy. And so the other elements are stronger than the earth element. And you see a silvery blue haze like a mirage. It's not a vision just in front of you, but you're immersed in that vision. And you recognize that this is the first stage of the death process. And because you're prepared, this is not frightening. Your mouth becomes very dry. All the fluids in your body become very much less. It's difficult to speak. You no longer discriminate between pleasant, unpleasant, neutral feelings. <coughs> and this is because the water element is dissolving or becoming weaker. It's no longer supported in your body. And you experience a, a vision of smoke. S puffs of smoke within a background of 
smoky haze. You could no longer hear external sounds. You lose your ability to think about the affairs of others and people that are close to you. The warmth in your body is diminishing and you could no longer digest food or water. You no longer have a sense of smell. And this is because the fire element is decreasing. It's no longer supported within your body. And you have an experience of sparks within the smoke. Next, the wind element weakens. It's no longer supported and you can no longer move. You have no taste. Your breath, first of all, becomes very less frequent, more laboured, and then eventually ceases. And you have a vision of a spluttering butter lamp, just like a small fire that's before it goes out, it becomes blue and red, just like a flame on a candle or a butter lamp just before it's extinguished. And when your breath ceases, this is not the death according to the Buddhist teachings. but it's part of the process. And all your gross conceptions are no longer there. Your mind is becoming increasingly subtle. The winds in our right and left channel in our body come to the crown of our head and descend into the central channel. And we experience a radiant white appearance.
And then the winds in the right and left channels below the heart come down and through up through the central channel. And the vision becomes a deep red. It's called the mind of red increase. And it's even more subtle than the previous mind. It's described as an autumn sky, free of defilement and pervaded by sunlight, as an image to try and help you imagine what this mind is like. A mind of red increase. And now all your winds have gathered in the central channel, above and below your heart. And the white and red drops that have been in, come down or come up in your central channel dissolve into the indestructible drop in your heart. In your heart center, in the heart chakra. This is called the indestructible do drop. <coughs> and your vision is a thick darkness where you can't see. And first of all, you're conscious of the darkness and then it's like you become unconscious. <coughs> like fainting or swooning. Then all the winds and minds that arise from the very subtle wind and mind cease. And you experience the clear light of death. It's an experience of complete emptiness. Very clear.
the clear light remains without any movement until there's a very tiny quiver of energy within it. And at this point, the very subtle wind and mind leave the, unop sorry, leave the open drop of the white and red constituents at the heart and pass outside. The old body is left behind and the body of an intermediate state is attained. And we experience the same visions that we had previously, but in reverse. The black, the red, the white, the spluttering butter lamp, the sparks, the smoke, the blue mirage. <laughs> 